players, uh, some of my friends have actually said that, oh no, 90% of the players in the game are going to quit. I mean, and I, I wonder, okay, why the hell are they going to do that? I mean, so what? Your hit points have changed. You have, you might want to have to do some math. Oh no, shock horror, math. I mean, seriously, what the hell is anyone worrying about doing fucking math? It's just, like, a tiny bit of mathematics, and it's not really that hard. See, I've gone now down to 693 health, so... If I were to eat this pizza, usually panel pizzas eat heal 11. Now they'll heal 110. So I should go up to 805. See, 805. Eat it again, and I'm at 916. Because now your health also restores at a bit faster rate, even though it actually doesn't make as much of a difference. So things like probably like resting and dream will seem to make a bit more sense now. So if I rest, I should be able to restore health a bit faster. Of course, we don't really know how fast it truly is. All I know is that it's meant to double your health restoring rate. Man, Guthen's skirt plus woman resting equals extreme glitchiness. Yeah. Yep, it seems that I'm restoring health a bit faster now, so... And then the vampire comes and stops me from resting. So, I... I mean, I don't really feel like this update's really gonna affect people if they don't start going into a panic about why they have to suddenly start doing math. I mean, nothing's really affected by that. I mean, just lower players who won't constantly hit zeros, instead they'll hit like a 1 or a 2, and enemies might hit like a 1 or a 2 instead of a... So they'll hit like 100% of... not 100, 1% of their HP instead of 10 like they usually did. So, hmm. You know what, I'm actually not even going to rate this one. I mean, no wait, that would be pretty dumb. I mean, a review's got to have some sort of a rating. So, let's see. Shattered Heart... I I like the idea of it. It looks like it's something that skillers can get that's nice to do. It's a little mini thing that encourages training. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that yet. And kind of encourages training skills in the large variety because then you can get different stones that give you more rewards as you do the skills. And that includes even things like agility. You'll just randomly find a stone in your inventory when you go across a log. I mean, it's kind of random, but it works. And... Ah, and what else is there to cover? Uh, I'd say I'm going to rate these separately. So Shattered Heart, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I don't see anything wrong with it whatsoever, except if someone likes to power a level and doesn't want to get those rocks. But if you can do that, you can take a... Once you get a rock, you can take it to the Varrock Museum and tell the guy, stop having these rocks up here in my inventory. And then you can go back to power leveling to your heart's content, which I will never like to do because I hate power leveling with a passion. And let's see... HP update to, well, health hit points to constitution. That one's just so hard to rate. I mean, you just don't, it doesn't seem to make really much of an effect whatsoever. I'll give that one, I'll give Shattered Heart maybe, sure, a, hell, I'll give it a 10. I don't see a single thing wrong with it. Um, hit points, hit points can be a bit confusing for a little while, so maybe I'll give it like a, maybe an Eight. I mean, players will have to get used to it, and I'm probably going to see a whole bunch of rants and people claiming, oh no, it's going to be some sort of giant problem. But it really doesn't seem like it's going to be that much of a worry. And, um, I actually like how you can actually see how your health, like, restores at a bit of a faster rate. It, even if it doesn't have as much of an effect. And, let's see. Iron, iron smelting. That probably might get people to smelt iron a bit more other than using superheat item or using the ring of forging. But of course, that really affects free players more than members, so... Hell, I mean, I really didn't think that was really necessary. I mean, now the free players don't even need a ring of forging nearly as much, so I'll give that like a 6. I mean, it really didn't seem that necessary. If free players really wanted to smelt iron that efficiently, they could have just gotten a ring of forging after getting members. But I guess I see the point behind it. I mean, no, no. It just really, it just doesn't really seem to be that much of a use. And, oh yeah, the lobby, I'll exit the lobby right now. The lobby is freaking awesome. Definitely a 10. Number one, I still can only click, click here to play, and I actually leave the game, so you don't have to worry about having, like, being in a dragon place and getting smacked in the face by dragon fire the moment you log in without actually seeing what's going on. Because I can now just change my world. And I can just do click here to play. And now I just have to wait for the game to actually see. And my profile will transfer. I still have to do that, but I mean I don't have to worry about entering my password again. I can just switch worlds with moderate ease. I can also even, except for when I'm actually trying to log in the game, I can go to my clan chat, go to my friends chat, change my options, those sorts of things. 
all on this main lobby screen without ever actually logging out. So it's nice if you ask me. I think it's awesome. That gives it an instant 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Although, why the hell would I go into an Indian world when I have 360 freaking ping on it? Okay, well, hopefully this hasn't gone over 10 minutes. But if it has, it has. I mean, let's see. If I go to Kirby Freak. No one in it. No surprise. But yeah, I can check my own clinch. I can go high and I'll see Lobby 1. So it's great. I love it. And I don't see why anyone wouldn't. Still the same amount of clicks. Click the favorite world. Click to play. Okay. Well, uh, might as well finish it up here. So, overview. Lobby. 10 out of 10. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Same amount of clicks to get in the game. And you don't have to actually get into the game until you click, click here to play. Hit, hit points update. Change to constitution. 8. I mean, it will be kind of annoying to have to only look up at the HP bar because some people actually like looking at the stat. And it might be a bit more confusing for new players, and it will be a bit of an adjustment, but it still really doesn't seem to have much of a problem whatsoever, and it makes combat a bit more varied. So, yeah, 8 out of 10 for that. And Iron Smelting, a really freaking pointless, well, not really pointless, but still not really that good, if you ask me. So, that gets a 6. I mean, like, so what? It doesn't take that long to get to 45 smithing, so, I mean, it just doesn't seem that much of a help in any way. And finally, Shattered Heart, I'll give that a 10. I mean, I tell the truth, I'm really giving it a blind 10. I really don't know it's actually whether it's good or not, but it there's nothing really wrong with it. I mean, I don't see a problem. Alright, it's probably over 10 minutes, but I'll give it a shot anyway. Thank you.